What's up, people? Happy day, happy another Monday, happy another... I don't know why am I mentioning days of the week when uh, I don't really post them on the same day of the week. So, if you can't be out in the woods, you can't have yourself a campfire, that's why you have a wood stove. Ah, that's beautiful. Nice heat coming from a wood-burning stove. And a little smoky flavor in the air, kind of makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside. Chilly April backyard day. It is a mess on my backyard. I definitely need to uh, wait for dry weather to get around and put some gravel on. On today's episode, by the way, what are we doing? We are, uh, it's a Bud Woodson project today. Today I'm making a, uh, I guess the, the right word would be plaque uh, for a dear friend of mine, Max. I don't know if you guys can see, so created this little file of Black Bear Pass. This is from, uh, what, last year's trip. He wanted to do some memorabilia and he's like, hey Nick, can you make something, you know, use your own thing. So, slept a file together. This is uh, VCarve Pro. And once the file in, what you can do is actually you can preview. So the beautiful thing about all this new technology nowadays is that allows you to preview stuff. So look how well it goes. So you let the computer render and then you go to 3D, right? Let's show you guys tool by tool. What's nice is that nowadays technology will allow you to actually see step by step everything that's gonna take place on the piece of wood or whatever you're making. So what's happening here is this is the chunk, chunk of wood that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna just take it step by step and see where we can make it happen, right? So, something fell over here. We scrap this chunk of board, aged, and I already started uh, torching it when I was just like, you know what, this deserves an episode of its own on YouTube. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this wood, and we're going to char it, because then, when you put the bit of the CNC into it, it will open up the, the wood and make it more white, right? And then, so the background will be more black and so on and so forth. I thought about epoxying it, but I think epoxying it will not necessarily make it look better. Um, so let's see if we can extend it with some other stuff. So stay tuned. Look at that little gold sparkle in there. Some rocks off the Black Bear Pass. Let's get these integrated too. Come on, get the rocks. Okay, so I exported the file. I'm gonna run with the eighth inch ball nose bit for starters to get herself centered out on the board and see how the rest goes. Let's go to time lapse. Check this beauty out. I think it came out pretty nifty. We got the elevation here. We got GPS coordinates. I think this is called Rose of Winds. 
and some black bear paw, uh, paws. And to wrap it all up, chain. Couple of nice railroad nails. Well, what do you guys say? Is that interesting? Is that gonna be an interesting gift? Or what? Let's finish it up. What a beautiful wrap this will be. I think this thing looks pretty sick. Hang it up, put it on your table, whatever works, right? So, had an itch to use some epoxy in there. And what I did is I found a rock that I brought a few years back from the past. Here's the remnants of the crushing. It has a bunch of that look to it. Where's the, let's go find the rock. So a few more pieces left. But I crushed up, crushed up the rock, threw it into the clear epoxy, and I figured that only it would make uh, make it more authentic, black like bearish. So inside of the epoxy, there's a crunched up rock formation, whatever you want to call it, right? So a little extra on that, a little. Uh, funky topping on the cake, right? So, pay attention to the details, they say. Well, thanks for watching. As always, check out other content. I hope you enjoyed this one. Check out the description below for items you can find on Amazon that were introduced in my uh, other videos for this video. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.